Welcome back to The Knitting Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey, and today we're going to work on the Fair Isle Knit Cowl. This is a verbal walkthrough on the instructions because this is stranding. So once you understand how stranding is done, which we have tutorials available for you here on this channel, and once you understand the concept of just changing out the yarns back and forth in order to do the Fair Isle concept, you can actually have a lot of fun with this, and it is stranding it behind. I haven't woven in any ends yet, but you can see the stranding is just jumping over, and on the front side here, it's just creating that amazing work that the models are wearing. So this here was using Red Heart Soft. I actually used uh, one of the Peyton's Lincoln Fog in order to do mine, and I actually should have used five colors, but I never took those on vacation. I only had four, so I was just kind of making do with what I had, so let's take a look at the pattern here and what we have is that there's two sides of the knitting needles and they're circulars. So they're going to have the long cord that is available um, on this. So this is not long enough, but it's much longer and it's recommending that the cord size is at least 24 inches. Make sure that you are taking a look at that and taking that seriously. When you go to start, the very starting section will start, we'll say right here, you're going to use a four and a half millimeter US 7 and then as you get into the ferrule concept itself, you're going to switch your needle to a five millimeter, a US eight. So when you go to look at this cowl, you're going to notice is that there's two sizes. So there's either the one size that is approximately 24 inches, and then the other one is 31. So my sample that I showed here is, is the actual larger sample. So when you do the bottom section here and finishing it at the top, you are going to use the four and a half millimeter and that is the US 7. So you'll see that here. So let me just move this aside. Once you have that done, it's going to be an inch and a quarter and you're going to switch your knitting needle. So in my case, what I can do is unscrew the knitting needle itself, leave everything on the cord, change up the tip so it's the bigger one. So then I'll switch it out to a five millimeter US 8. And you'll use that one to go all the way until you hit the brim on the other side. You are going to follow the instructions. So if you are going to change out your information, then what you would want to do is cross out the name and write the new name of the colors that you're doing. And you can see that it turned out pretty amazing the way that things worked out. And you want to take your time in order to make this process as seamless as possible. So you'll complete rounds number one through 32, which will take you up to here. So you see that this is the same section. So you want to come back through rounds number one through 12 one more time so that you have the balance. Once you're ready, you are going to want to switch your needle back to the four and a half millimeter US seven and complete the last one and one quarter to do this to the uh, garter stitch again. So you'll knit one round, purl the next, knit one round and purl the next to give this look just like you would have had out here so that you'll have the balance. This pattern does take a little bit of time. I've, I'm still working through it and um, it actually works out really quite beautifully. I love the texture. I use the Peyton's Lincoln Fog and I think it was a winner and so therefore I'm not sensitive to wool and it's really neat. So on the inside it is stranded so I haven't woven in the ends as I was changing them as I was doing my my um, when I get all the way around. I have to sometimes change the colors out so it's all there and so I just have to weave those in but you can see that it's pretty easy to follow and just a matter of just getting the stitch work to line up properly in order to do it. So the, really the hardest thing is just to get the motivation to get started but once the stitch work starts lining up perfectly um, you actually get more motivated to see how this thing is going to work out. So this here is the Feral Knit Cowl. Everything that is available here is already in our channel in one form or another from doing the brim of just the knit brims, the Feral with the double stranding of two hands. That is really quite uh, fun to do. And I think that it's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. So this is the Feral Knit Cowl by Yarnspirations.com.